Right guys, I'm on my way to uh, Iota Serpentis down here below Vux. And uh, there is a, quite a quick ship approaching me, so I doubt it's Vux. And it's definitely not quick enough to be a probe. So let's see who it is. Yep, these are definitely new people. Let's meet them. Save the game first, of course, but let's talk to them. What am I seeing on the view screen? It's none other than the flattened old face of our friends, the human. But, old ally, are you not knowing that we, the Yeha, are allied with the ur now? And your presence outside the slave shield and in an armed starship are clear violations of your oath of fealty. Whatever shall we do? It just isn't a right thing to kill you, human, but as a loyal member of my clan, I must obey the wishes of our queen. So I guess these guys are old members of the Alliance, so surely they should be our friends. Your words are flying in the face of the fact, human. We are no longer being your allies, but unlike the nobles of our homeworld, we of the Starship clans are bereaved at this course of events. The queen's decision to be joining the hierarchy pains us. You are causing us sorrow, human. Sorrow indeed, because now we must obey the commands of our queen and destroy you. Oh god, well, never mind, it was worth a try. So, just yet another enemy that we're just going to have to take down. These guys look strong though, so we're going to have to be careful. Um, yeah, they've got pretty quick ship. Let's see what it's got. Let's see what weapons it has. Deep eat. Come on now. I couldn't quite hit him. Come on, let's get him. Oh, okay, they've got very powerful weapons. I need to hit him. Whoa, whoa, he's taking me down. He's doing a lot of damage to me. Come on. I'm just running out of battery too quickly. Okay, he did do a lot of damage to me. Come on. Just need to get some point defense hits in. There we go. Okay, I'm going to escape this because I can't deal with this anymore. They were pretty powerful. Okay, getting away from them. Right, let's go to Iota Serpentis, mine the planet, and get the heck out of this area. The Yehat. Don't like them. May have been part of the old alliance, but if they're not going to fight for us, then I guess we've got no other choice but to leave them. But here's a nice sapphire world that I'm going to start mining. Very nice. Alright, so this time I'm just north of Ilrath space, and I think a probe is chasing me, so let's go and destroy it. Yep, definitely another probe. We come in peace. Again, whatever I say, you're just going to attack me, so I'm just going to go for the fourth option again. See if they say anything useful. Priority set at point of origin. Behavior follows dictated priorities. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. You know, one day I hope they actually tell us what coordinates they have, because I really want to get rid of these guys now, because they are free RUs, but they're still really annoying. Um, so I guess we just take down this probe, it's just flying around, not really doing much damage, and we take it down with a nice fusion blast hit. Very nice. And on we go with mining. And now I'm just going to head out of Vux space towards um, Beta Scorpi, because that's a good um, planet there to mine. So I'm just here, and there is a quick ship approaching, which I guess is another probe. And I am right. We come in peace. Okay, what about reverse psychology? I guess we could try that. Why not? Yeah. This is Probe 2418-P. We replicate so that we may expand the scope of mission. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. Nope, again, they're just going to keep attacking us every single one we meet. So, again, another 550 RUs. Don't mind me, just gonna destroy this probe again. I'm, I'm happy with the extra RUs, but I still wanna know where they're coming from because I really wanna deal with these guys, because, you know, I don't know why they're just keeping sending out probes if they're just gonna get destroyed all the time, jeez. Anyway, on to Beta Scorpi I go. Right, so I'm just outside Beta Scorpi and I found a new ship here approaching me outside of Vuck Space 
definitely far, uh, slower than a probe, but outside of Vux Space, so who are these guys going to be? Interesting looking ships, definitely new. Going to save the game and uh, converse. We are part of Jaffa Jaffa is the hot light in the darkness. All else is unfulfilled void. We are the Micon. The Micon. Um, I like the second and third ones, especially the third one, but uh, go for the top one. We wish peace between our peoples. Finds nourishment in decay and soon attains maturity. In turn, it exhales a cloud of new life, a thousand spores. Each lands finds nourishment in decay. So, progressive Jeffo Wap. Jeffo Wap builds in my fibers and I grow turgid, violent action in soon. So we've already made two enemies this episode, I wonder how many we can do, is this going to be a record for us? Well, let's just take the Starship Nova Mesa to battle, they've got some interesting cannons, jeez, what are those? They're like energy balls of fluff. Probably quite powerful, they've got huge amounts of battery, but their weapons take up a huge amount of battery as well, so they're probably massive attacks. Gotta be careful, and they're moving pretty quick as well. Both the um, attack and them, and they're homing really well. Oh, jeez, that did a lot of damage. That did did a huge amount of damage. I got one hit on it. I gotta be careful because ten damage they're doing each. Okay, I'm gonna get away from this guy as far as I can, away from this horrible guy. At least he's not firing anymore. Oh, but jeez, they can heal themselves. That is unfair. It takes up all their battery, but they can actually like heal themselves. That is ridiculous. They've just got full health again. That is. I can't believe that. But anyway, I need to get away from those as well, because again, they're pretty powerful. So both the Micron and the Yay Hat. Jeez. Anyway, after quite an amazing trip with one fuel left and back to Earth, made lots of enemies, but also got lots of exotic minerals, so should have a huge amount of values to spend. And with all the new technology from the Mel Norme, we should be able to really spice up our ship and destroy those oh, new hostile Captain, enemies. I'm glad you're back. There's something I think you should know. We're receiving a priority distress call from the Zakfad homeworld at Alpha Tukane. The signal was urgent but extremely weak. The only portions of the transmission that we can be sure of are help. Black destroyer. Planet under attack. Help. Worse than Zebranki, whatever that means. And finally, help. Also, We've detected a minute but measurable disturbance in the inner space fabric at approximate true space coordinate 100 by 50. Our scientists speculate that this disturbance may be caused by many thousands of hyperwarp penetrations, all in phase, as though a huge fleet of ships were on the move. So we need to go and help the Zotfot pick. We need to destroy whatever's attacking them. Maybe the Urquan have found them, or maybe it's a probe or something stupid. It's a Zotfot, what do you think? And then we've also got um, something happening between the Ilrath and Pekunk, I guess. But uh, here we go, lots of lovely exotics. Look at that, up to 30,000 again. That last load should but yeah, blazing. something's happening between the Ilrath and the Pekunk, we're going to have to find out. And uh, we're also going to have to first save the um, Zotfot pick. Definitely going to have to help those guys out. Because they're crucial in finding out what's happening in the war. But since we have so many IUs, we're going to fill up our fuel tanks. Our high efficiency fuel tanks all the way back up to 210. And I think it's time to really uh, make our ship a powerhouse. I think I'm going to get rid of the point defense lasers because, you know what? I might as well just add some super powerful um, offensive weapons. Can't be doing with these point defense lasers anymore. They were good for a time uh, while I didn't have those tracking devices, but with tracking devices, I think with some nice Hellbore cannons that we also bought, I think it's going to be a so we'll also fill up on fuel, uh, not fuel, some crew, and also um, recrew some of the ore ships that um, got injured during the um, conflict with Admiral Zex at um, Alpha Cherenkov. That's fine. At least none of them. We haven't actually had a, a single one of our ships destroyed yet. Um, I think we had a lander got, got destroyed very early on when we um, went to Alpha Centauri because it was very extreme weather there but 
Okay, so it's time to get rid of our point defense lasers because, you know, it's three slots that really aren't being used that well. Get gonna get rid of these fusion blasters as well, and put hellball cannons instead. Look how awesome they look. Yes, look at that, they're like super powerful energy things. Um, do I really need to put a hellball cannon here? Uh, probably not. Oh, I don't think so. I'll just leave it there for now, see how we do. I want to probably fit a Shiva Furnace on. Um, but I'm going to put the tracking units at the back there. Um, those three tracking systems. They cost 4,000 each, but as I said, we've got so much RUs. Might as well use them. Three tracking systems, he said, at max. There we go. Um, and then I think I'm going to get rid of that since it's a side one. And then I'm going to put a Shiva Furnace there. So we've got huge amounts of... Um, restoring now. So the way the Shiva Furnaces actually work is, um, the Mel normally didn't explain it very well, basically the Shiva Furnaces act twice as good as dynamos but only if you um, already have three dynamos. So if you just have a Shiva Furnace um, without any dynamos then it's actually worse than a, than a single dynamo I think. So it's only, I think it doubles, basically what a Shiva Furnace does is each Shiva Furnace increases how much energy you gain per um, round of regeneration and the dynamos increase the rate of regeneration so by just having an extra Shiva Furnace we're doubling the rate of um, regeneration on our ship. I also got two Zopfok Stingers because why not? Might as well test them out. Probably not going to use them since my flagship is just so powerful now. Um, but yeah let's head into Quasi Space and find out what's happening at Alpha Tukane. Is it just going to be a stupid old probe or is it going to be something like the Urquan? I actually hope it's Yerquan, because I want to see how well my ship fares against them now. It didn't do too badly um, the last time we fought them, but um, that was with the Spathian. It was quite a long battle. I want to see if I can just take them down quickly with a um, nice Hellball cannon shots. So let's head down to the bottom of this little triangle of portals and head to Zopfok Pick Space. Just northeast of here is Alpha Tukane, northeast of the Zopfok. Um, area of effect, whatever, sphere of influence. Let's head over there. Hopefully we don't run into any bad guys on the way. Well, it isn't too bad. I just want to probably save the game near Alpha Tukane and then find out how good we can fare against Urquan. If we do fare, fare well against Urquan, I think we can take out these three ships approaching us. So, it doesn't look like there's anything going on. What's happening? Let's actually go to the planet. I'm gonna save the game just in case something strange happens. Okay, let's go. Is there gonna be a ship there? No ships. So something bad's happened on the planet? There's a brink here, I've come back. No! Oh, there's bad guys. Ah, it's a Korra. Let's take him down. Let's converse first, though. Save the game. Talk to him. And say we're gonna destroy him. We are the Urquan Korra. Your presence here is premature. We fight the Khazarzar for supremacy of doctrine and possession of the Sarmatra. When the battle is won, our task is simple. We cleanse. You are the filth. Ooh, harsh words, but uh, I'll tell you now, if you attack us, we're gonna destroy you. We're gonna completely just we're gonna completely own you, so don't even try. Over five thousand races have made such a claim. We survived. They did not. Nor shall you. I'm not so sure about that, Mr. Korar, man. Mr. Death29. I'm just gonna come in here and smash you in the face with some Hellball Cannons. Ooh. He got away with that one. And I almost crashed into a planet. Look at that. Oh, just missed again. But look how quickly I'm regenerating. Okay, you got one for me. That's it, guys. Oh, look at that! Absolutely owning him. You can't do anything about it. He's just... He knows his death's coming. Yes, look at that. Absolutely obliterated by the Nova Mace. Thank you very much, Mr. Korra, Death29. Our savior, our savior, you have rescued us from certain destruction. Howie, baby, that was a close one. The black ship appeared in orbit several days ago and began raining down bolts of destructive energy on the surface of our planet. Fortunately, we were able to focus our planetary shield to deflect the energy blasts away from our city. Unfortunately, large sections of our planet's beautiful wilderness have been annihilated, entire ecosystems destroyed. Oh, 
That makes me really mad. I mean, attacking helpless, intelligent alien species, that's one thing. But toasting our cute little wood jukes and tree narfs, that is really low. If the black ship had been accompanied by others of its kind, we wouldn't have been able to stop the reign of destruction. They would have killed us all. Well, in that case, better those jukes and narfs than us, right? Captain, it is clear that in matters of war, you are more capable than ourselves. With this in mind, we would like to give you our four finest starships and crew. I hope they bring you many victories. Try not to lose them all right away. Well, we haven't got any space for any ships, so I guess if we come back here with four free spaces, we can get some extra IUs. I mean, uh, ships. Yes, some ships, extra ships. Um, for now, I wonder if they've got any more news. It's been pretty quiet, Captain. Nothing new to report. Are you crazy? What about the Bungie Championships? Oh, not again. Captain about that. He wouldn't be interested. Oh, yeah? How do you know? Because I'm not even interested. Nobody with any brains is interested in Frungy. Well, what about me, huh? I love Frungy. It's a sport of kings. Gee. Oh, all right. He wouldn't know any of the teams anyway. Well, how useful. Uh, what about any news about the war? No, we have nothing new to report. Nope. Not a thing. Right, so, again, the Zofa pick Captain. have been completely useless. We came here to save them, and they gave us absolutely nothing in return. Well, I guess they were trying to give us some ships, but, uh, generally free space, so technically they gave us nothing. But we did get 375 IU. Um, and the Pekunk are definitely moving, though. What's happening over there? Are they fleeing? I think they're getting away from the Ilrath. They've just left. They realized they were losing, so they're just going to disappear. That's probably a good idea, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I guess the Pekunk are just moving away. Slowly, but surely. Um, they're doing it pretty slowly, considering that I can move through hyperspace way quicker than they are right now. And their speed is just as um, good as mine, so I don't know what's going on there. Maybe they're just traveling through true space, maybe they're not using hyperspace. But the commander did say they were using hyperspace, never mind. But um, anyway, the Pekunk are moving, so I wonder what's going on there. But uh, for now, I think it's time to just destroy some Urquan. For fun, why not? Haha. -ha.